this is your Tuesday fixture. It's Delhi against Bangalore. Both teams have arrived in Ahmedabad. This is the same stadium. They will have seen tonight's game. They will have seen what the dew has thrown up on Monday night. And they will all be set for two stroke-filled teams to go head-to-head in this particular fixture. Pommy, I'll start with you and let's start with Bangalore. Um, They've been the team to beat in this tournament. They will know if they bat first, for example, with the way Kohli goes and with tosses, 220 is the kind of score they need to score. Pretty much what India scored when they last played. I tell you, it's mouth-water in that clash. I absolutely love it. I mean, the, you'd say that, you know, we could say that day after day after day. But this one particularly, we did one yesterday, CSK and RCB, and you look forward to a game like that. I think this one is very much like that. You say free-flowing, stroke makers. We want to see guys like that. I wonder what it does to them, RCB that loss it was a big loss it wasn't a small loss at all and i i know the skipper will will say and the players are oh, an aberration you know we've been playing well in the season we know i heard Colley yesterday saying look we'll take some learnings from this um there's some positives we've been doing well it's better it happens early it's fine when it happens once what if it happens twice what if you turn up there and something happens and you suddenly start doubting again. I love, love, love Devdat Padikal. Man, that guy can bat. Oh, you, you know? And and so this youthful exuberance up at the top and just bravado, you go into that middle with guys in form, but the other side's just as good. You see shots played on the other side as well. So it might well be a question of which bowling group is better tomorrow which bowling group leaves you know gives less to these swashbuckling players that are all over the place and which one wins the toss yeah that's important (laughs) you can do all you like with this and this it's what happens with this that is going to matter but uh, if, if only there was a way to practice, you would go out and practice tosses tonight rather than have net practice. What about the squad? Remember, there's going to be two less choices, Joy, for Bangalore. There's going to be no Adam Zampa uh, and there's going to be no Kane Richardson. Kane Richardson played one game. Adam Zampa hadn't played yet. But at least it's not any loss from someone who's in the playing 11. Having said that, with that loss the other night, do you see any casualties? The problem is this is not the pitch to play too many spinners as well. So I don't see Shahbaz Ahmed making his way back. If Shahbaz Ahmed doesn't make his way back and uh, Nabdeep signing plays, I really see the same eleven playing. Also, I think somewhere down the line, unless it's tactical, uh, Virat would be would be very concerned about showing, portraying consistency as something in selection in the way the team plays is something they do. And it's a very small ground. You know, you bring Shahbaz on. Suppose it's June the second half, you won't be able to bowl him. You know, you in the second half, spinner who tries to, you know, give the ball a bit of a little bit of air, it's going to be difficult to land. So, I really see no changes in the uh, Bangalore team right now. And again, I'm just looking forward to, if they've got that particle bats first, his attitude will be try and that first six overs is going to be vital if you're batting first. Because if you're batting first, you're going to tell yourself, I have to get 70 odd in the power play because this is going to be very difficult to defend in the back end. Pommy, personally, I feel for someone like Finn Allen coming into this tournament for the first time and goes into a franchise like this with such explosive hitters. Doesn't look like unless there's an injury, he's going to get a chance to play. But what a talent he is. I've watched him three times. Each time, you almost feel like taking cover even if you're watching it on TV. Yeah, look, it's uh, that's uh, the plight of um, all overseas pros, I think. You, you turn up. And if it's not a case of you're sitting on the side all the time um, and your your side's going really well, it's a case of you're into the side and out of the side because of balance, because someone, you know, you, you could have scenarios where someone else doesn't do well and it affects your place in the side because they've got a balance thing. So I think you have to be strong in terms of your mind and kind of, um, make peace with that before you turn up here that you will get a go you might not get a go and if you get a go you've just got to be ready 
Well, let's move on to the other side, which is Delhi. They've just come off a heart-wrenching super over, which they fell, which fell uh, on the right side as far as they were concerned. Uh, just that one loss to Rajasthan. Otherwise, it's been an excellent tournament for them. And after that super over, I mean, we talked about relief today for Kolkata because of the way things have happened on the flight. To Ahmedabad, they would have been talking a lot about that and how they got out of jail on that occasion, Joy. They would be talking about that. They would also land and they'd have a look at the pitch and they'd say, you know, they'd have a look at the kind of view there and say, what are they going to do? How are they going to prepare for it? And this is the problem. They don't have much time. They're coming in literally. They've played the night before. They've traveled. They come in. There's not too much rest. So I think for them, stability is a big thing. But I also think that the busiest person in that Delhi camp will be the physiotherapist because they're going to be so many niggles, so much happening out there. They've got to get everyone fit out there. They've also lost Ashwin. Ashwin's not going to be there. But I think right now what you have is you have a natural guy who's going to walk in. Lalit Yadav has been playing. He's been in form. He was you know, un unlucky to miss out because Aksar Patel is a brilliant cricketer. So I think Lalit Yadav walks in straight for the uh, Ashwin. Not much changing beyond that. Do they look at replacing Avish Khan? I don't think so. I think he's the kind of bowler who's giving them wickets. He's bowling with heart. I only see a Lalit for Ashwin is their only change. Quick one for you, Pommy. Obviously, everybody else pretty much selects themselves in terms of merit. But we're all talking about Nokia. Now, is it the kind of place? Is he the kind of person that put that wet ball? Uh, oof, I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think where he would have had the experience to where he'd have had to, you know, deal with bowling with a wet ball. He runs up generally and he bowls fast, he doesn't bowl too many slower balls. And if you're playing him in your side, you're playing him in your side because he's going to beat a side using pace. Now, um, if you look at um, RCB and you think about their batsmen and you think, well, is it going to be a case of, you know, pace will win you the game? Some will say, yes, pace can win you any game, but they can use his pace. And if we're talking about a smaller ground, if we're talking about a tournament where cutters have been the goal, I don't see them going to Nokia. Uh, they might. They might decide just to change things up. They'll go there. But I, I don't see them going to Nokia. I think they'll kind of keep the bowling group the same. I, it might well be somewhere along the line. Uh, I know Chris Walks played early, but I think he's an underrated cricketer and he can contribute. Uh, and if there's Jew and perhaps there might be a little bit of movement up at the front, he can he can utilize that movement. So maybe a Chris walks uh, into the side, maybe not. But uh, an embarrassment of riches, I think, for, for a side that's going OK. And, you know, they don't really have to tinker. They, they can pick whoever they want.